what's going on and welcome back to my channel now it says here that Dominican Resort claims US tourists went public with assault allegation after it refused her demand for 2.2 million and it's the white chick there I think the picture of the uh, the two black couple of the black couple on the right those are people who were missing I think they were found but they were reported missing but let's read what the article has to say about the incident with this white chick here it says a popular luxury resort in the Dominican Republic claims that a US tourist who, re who recently alleged that she was assaulted there in January went public after they refused her demand for 2.2 million the hotel has raised doubts about the account by Delaware resident Tammy Lawrence Daly who posted her allegation on Facebook along with photos of her face swollen and bruised that I'll show you in a minute Lawrence Daly said she was vacationing at a five-star all-inclusive resort with her husband and some friends when she left her room one evening to buy a snack and was attacked from behind and subjected to hours of beatings. She alleged that the attacker was wearing a resort uniform. Okay. It says here that the Pens that Pennsylvania woman died at same Dominican hotel five days before Maryland couple in similar circumstances. Okay, so it looks like this is a common um, occurrence. Uh, that hotel might be haunted, I don't know. But let's read further. In a statement to Fox News, Majestic Elegance Punta Cana Hotel claimed Mrs. Lawrence formally demanded a $2.2 million compensation agreement. After receiving no positive response, she disclosed her version of the case four months four months after it happened four months efforts to reach Lawrence Daly for a response were unsuccessful on Wednesday Lawrence Daly said however that frustration sorry Lawrence Daly has said however that frustration over the hotel and the police handled her allegations Hold on. Lawrence Daly has said, however, that frustration over how the hotel and the police handled her allegations prompted her to go public to warn other tourists. Now, um, this is her face. This is her face. Well, this is the picture they provided because I was trying to compare her face here. You know, her face here looks a little bit smaller. Well, the picture is a little bit smaller, but uh, I kind of see a difference in her face shape. Kind of. Maybe because it's swollen right here. But if this is her, I mean, damn. Damn it. Like, who beat her and why? That's a hell of a bruise. That's a hell of a bruise. I mean, what, what, she said that she left her room. She went with her husband, it was, and some friends. She left the room by herself, went to buy snacks, and somebody accosted her from behind, I think she said. I think it was from behind, she said. Yes, attacked her from behind, and she was subjected to hours of beating. But for what? I mean, if she didn't do anything to anyone, she said the person was wearing a uniform. So it could have been somebody who worked there or somebody posing like one of the hotel employees. But either way, if this story is true, this is this is really sad, you know. But she's a white female. Why wait four months after the incident to go public about it? White women are believed if if a lizard run over a white woman's toe and she screams, the whole world will stop. So, I mean, she could have 
reported this to the authorities in America, I don't know about the American relations, the American government relationship with the government in Dominican Republic, but I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the government here or officials here would do something about it. I don't think she had to wait for months. I'm not saying this didn't happen, but that four month, that four month thing, she waited four months. It, it, it's bringing about some doubts. I'm not saying she has any reason to lie, but why wait four months? You know. But this picture doesn't look like it was photoshopped or anything. But I don't know, man. I don't know. And then there's, there are reports that at this same hotel they've had incidents of someone going missing I think it was Pennsylvania woman died at same Dominican hotel five days before Maryland couple in similar circumstances so someone died there and I think reports are that the bodies of a, of American couple missing in Dominican Republic believe found so what had happened was they said that there were three couples who were missing in the Dominican Republic you know, so I, I guess they found them. So I don't know what's going on down there in the Dominican Republic. I heard DR is dangerous for tourists. I've heard that. I haven't been there myself, so I really don't know what's going on. Um, but as, you guys tell me what you think. So I, I don't know what to say at this point. Because if she was beaten like this, why wait for months? So what if you didn't get 2.2 .2 million? You know, why wait for months? She's from America. Do you know what Americans do for a white woman? Shit. They'll blow up the moon for a white female. So, I, I don't know. Why would she wait? Anyway, you guys go read up the story. I'm out.